Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back. Um, this is the second part of definition. So I just like to remind you of the definition of uh, FFC uh, of functional food as illustrated here. It is about natural or processed food that contain known or unknown biologically active compounds or we call it bioactive compounds which in defined effective and non-toxic amounts provides a clinically proven and documented health benefits for the prevention management or treatment of chronic diseases so in, in, in this case, if you can see the word uh, biologically active compound or bioactive is the highlight here. If you notice, uh, there is no legal definition of functional food. It is all about science, nothing to do with the law. Okay, that's why I call it almost illegal. Anyway, uh, there is another important terms there which is called biomarkers so we have bioactive compounds um, do something good in the body and it generates some kind of biomarkers this is going to be uh, explained later so the bioactive compounds are the the highlight or the star of functional food or we call it backbone in order for the food, functional food to be effective, you must have the bioactive compounds. Thanks to modern biochemical technology, food scientists can now separate food substances into fine chemical components and test these extracts for biological behavior. So now, researchers can run experiment on this compound and draw causal relationships between bioactive compounds and health outcomes. Because the new definition focuses on bioactive compounds, it provides explanations for functional food's ability to improve health and treat illness. Therefore, this definition simplifies and explains how functional foods operate at biochemical and empirical level. In other words, uh, this definition helps navigate food scientists to a specific goal. Two important concepts within the topics of bioactive compounds are A. The amount of bioactive compounds and B. The ratio of bioactive compounds required to convert ordinary food into functional food. Different amounts of bioactive compounds are effective in different situations and sometimes too much of bioactive compound can be toxic. In general, consuming physiologic levels of bioactive compounds is safe, while higher levels of bioactive compounds require testing for health benefits and safety. Next, what are biomarkers? Biomarkers are indicators in the body that give off signals in tissues, organs, or systems. Scientists often use biomarkers to determine the rate of effectiveness of biological processes in its natural state and after functional food administrations. Biomarkers can be protein, blood sugar, cholesterol, triglyceride levels, or hormone levels. Like bioactive compounds, biomarkers are a diverse group of compounds and processes. Biomarkers are useful. First, when scientists theorize that a bioactive compound will have certain benefits, changes in biomarker activity confirm or deny these benefits. Secondly, 
biomarkers can indicate the mechanism by which bioactive compounds prevent or treat illness. Thirdly, observing biomarkers in a specific process can clarify the role that bioactive compound plays in the body on several levels. Functional food scientists try to choose the most efficient, the most accurate, and the most easily measured biomarkers in their studies. I guess that's all for now for the definition. I hope you remember it. See you in class and happy learning. Bye.